The man who says he came up with the idea for the Ringling International Arts Festival has big plans for the event. Former Florida State Senator John McKay sees it becoming the largest festival of its kind in the U.S. SNN Local News 6 anchor Adrian Stein spoke with him about next week's event. What started as an abstract idea has morphed into what's expected to be a grand festival, weaving together music, dance, and art on the picturesque grounds of the Ringling Museum. It's been in my head since we uh, appropriated the money to uh, restore and expand the museum. The $140 million expansion wrapped up in 2007. That's when the planning for the Ringling International Arts Festival took off. The event actually... Um, uh, has transpired as a result of a conversation that I had with a business associate who happened to be a, a friend and business partner of Mikhail Bershnikov. Former state senator John McKay helped to pitch the idea to the famed dancer and actor. Fortunately, Mr. Bershnikov said this is a good idea. New York's Bershnikov Art Center is providing the artistic direction for the festival that starts Wednesday. 100 artists from around the world will be here for theater performances, flamenco and ballet shows, chamber music and art. A $1.5 million state tourism grant is footing the bill. McKay insists this is a good place for your tax dollars. We've invested huge amounts of money in the Ringling Museum and the citizens of Florida deserve a return on that investment. The best way to give it to them is by bringing people here to spend money that otherwise wouldn't come. Organizers say ticket sales are set to outperform projections and they hope the performances will exceed your expectations. In Sarasota, Adrian Stein, SNN Local News 6. Mikhail Barishnikov is expected to be in town for part of the festival. For more information on upcoming performances, you can log on to ringlingartsfestival.org.